been asked here to talk about the camming sticks and uh, it's, it's a, I think a myth, but it's a, a, a well-held myth that the gore stick was the stick of choice for the camming. Now people would use what was around them. If there was gorse around them, maybe they'd use gorse, but um, gorse is a hopeless wood for camming sticks. We're going to take a walk now. We're going to go down the cuts, special place in Bollacillion. If you're not from St John's, you won't know where the cuts are but we're going to go down the cuts and we're going to cut ourselves a kamig stick. This fella here would be the perfect candidate for a kamig stick, except for one thing. It's still growing. It's still a good growing, vigorous tree. And uh, so I wouldn't cut that one, but you can see how the grain would run nice and clean through that. Uh, this is the sort of tree that uh, is good. Uh, Sally, or willow, is um, got lots of bend in it, lots of strength in it, and it's easily worked. It's too long for a bit we don't want. Hopefully we've got it to length. It's all done by eye, this sort of thing. So that's, um, it's starting to look roughly a little bit like a camog stick. This is the time when you have to think very hard about your thumbs. This is what we use nowadays. You've got to use the traditions of the times. A kamig stick, that could be nothing else but a kamig stick. Anyone who's ever played kamig would look at that and say that's a kamig stick. It's played between the north and the south. So if you'd like to come along, two o'clock, Boxing Day. And there's music and beer afterwards.